Oh my goodness. She took their children, guys, and abandoned him at the airport. Someone who is just coming into the country, someone who has no knowledge about the UK, he knows nothing about the UK. The wife abandoned I'm him. I'm going at to say the this for me um, looks very deceptive. As a wife, there are other better ways to treat a bad husband, a shitting husband, an ungrateful husband, however you want to call it. In today's video, guys, a Nigerian brother of ours came into the UK with his children, met his Nigeria beautiful, beloved wife at the airport. To his greatest surprise, the wife took the passport of the children, took the children away from him and abandoned him at the airport. Now, this young man is facing deportation from the UK. What do you guys think? Let's discuss in this very video. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Joanne and I'm based here in England. What I do here, I talk about life realities, life happenings of Africans, most especially Nigerians to be precise, that are based here in the UK and in the diaspora at large. So if you're interested in content like this, subscribe to my channel and also Press the notification bell icon. That's the only way you get notified each time I post a new video. And if you are watching me on Facebook, click on the follow button on TikTok. You can repost this video, click on the like button, and also follow this handle. With that being said, guys, I want to say a very big warm thank you to my returning subscribers, followers. You guys are awesome. I do not take any of your support for granted. Guys, 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 guys. In today's video, I know some people... Because there was a video I, I made, I think, a few weeks ago, and someone was asking me, are this news ray, or you are just, you know, fabricating lies here to come, you know, cook up stories to come and tell us as content? No, it is not. So I will be putting a screenshot by the side of, you know, this very video so that you guys will see where I got it from. I'll also be reading from where I got this one from. With that being said, guys, it is very, very sad that one of our nigerian brothers who arrived the uk a few weeks ago a few months ago has been asked to leave the uk january 2024 because of what his beloved his supposed beloved wife did to him though where i saw this news a lot of people were asking what the what has the man done that will warrant his wife to treat him this way to abandon him at the airport the worst thing you want to do as a man is to take a kind woman for granted because if that woman have the opportunity to pay you back she will pay you back in a very very cruel way i think this is what happened because now a lot of people are blaming this lady why will you abandon your husband at the airport without hearing the other side of the story we all know that for every story there's always two sides so as it is, you know, to a coin, for every coin, there's two sides, there's there, there's there. So for every story, you must learn how to, we must learn to hear from both parties before we decide. According to the Jays, they didn't really tell us whether or not the man has been bad, whether the man has been abusing her back home in Nigeria. But all we know is that this lady came to the UK as a student. The man paid for a tuition fee and everything. So the man was coming to be a dependent with the children and according to him he has sold eventually everything that they had back home in nigeria just to make this journey and now he has nothing to go back to if he should go back to nigeria he's got nothing back home in nigeria to fall back to and for a year he cannot even stay here without getting another without getting a sponsor because as it is he was under the lady as a dependent and according to the news the lady has written to the home office to say that she is no longer the sponsor of the husband guys let's take from let's read from where i saw this news form and then we'll go further in this very video so according to the news he said hello everyone so a lady friend of the guy posted this and she was asking people for help he said, she said, hello everyone, a family friend of mine is in urgent need of a job with sponsorship. Last month, he arrived in the UK with his children as dependents. And his wife went to pick him 
pick them up at the airport and asked to see their children's passports, which he handed over without any suspicion. She then told him that their marriage was over and wanted him and wanted nothing to do with him. God. She took them, she took their children, pardon me, and abandoned him at the airport. Oh my goodness. She took their children, guys, and abandoned him at the airport. Someone who is just coming into the country, someone who has no knowledge about the UK. He knows nothing about the UK. The wife abandoned him at the airport. He just come to the UK for the first time to join his wife. Who came last year to study? He helped pay her fees and sold off everything he had to join her. Today, the home office sent him a letter saying that he has on the 1st of January 2024, God, to return to Nigeria. He has nothing to go back to and may never see his children again. I'm pleading with everyone who can help him with a job referral so that he can stay and fight for his children. If you know, if you know of any job openings or can put him in touch with someone who might be able to help, please reach out to me. I will be incredibly grateful. Guys, guys, this is indeed, it is so, it is so sad. But then again, like I said, some women, they will wait for you at the fence to face you. When they know that there is no going forward, no going backwards, that is when they will come out and face you. Probably this man has been, I'm not saying he is or he was, but I'm just saying probably this man has been an abusive husband back home. You guys know how it works back home that women cannot even say anything. But trust me, as soon as these women cross the border, pam, they become very powerful. And then some of them want to pay back. But the way at which this lady paid the husband back, if the husband might have done something you know, bad to her in the past in their marriage, I don't really know, but the way at which she paid this man back is very, very wrong. At least, madam, you would have allowed him to settle in the UK and then let him know that, see, I'm no longer interested in this marriage. I gave you from now to three, four, five, six months to look for a sponsor who can sponsor you in the UK. Because no matter what, the children still belong to you and this man. So there will always be a relationship between the two of you. That relationship still remains your children, which you cannot deny them the rights for them to know that they have a father. Even if they are very young now, tomorrow they will grow up and ask you of their father. You can't, why are you going to tell them that their dad is dead or what? So please, 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 ladies. If we know we want to pay back, I'm not saying you shouldn't pay back. You can pay back, but pay it in a nice way that even if the devil yeah, the devil hears of it, the devil will not be angry with you. Because I'm not saying God, I'm not gonna say God, because God will not permit such. Even if the devil will, you know, come across such news tomorrow about you, the devil should not be angry with you. Please let's know that for those children's sake. We can't just throw the dads away like that. What if the man killed him, kill himself? What's going to happen? What will happen to your conscience? It will remain with you forever that you cause his death. So we can do better, guys. Let me know what you think on the comment section. With that, I'm going to sign off. Bye.